Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. This is, this is my first time uh, being here with you to tell a story, but I want to tell a story, a real quick story. I'm going to call this a making love story. Real quick, a making love story. This story is about me and my wife, Crystal Butler. We were 16. She was 16. I was 17 years old. We were working. Uh, I was working at Greyhound, and I was sweeping up like I was doing on the outside. She was walking by. When she walked by, I asked her, what was her name? Something told me to speak to her, find out what her name was. When I found out what her name was, we became friends. In fact, we became best friends over the years. But we went, we dated, uh, I dated, I went, we went to different colleges. I dated someone, she dated someone. Who she was dating didn't want me around her. Who I was dating didn't want me around her. They couldn't understand that we were just really platonic best friends. Well, seven years into our friendship, I decided to do something that a lot of fellas, it's hard to do. That's, I decided to make a move. So I made the move. I wrote a four page letter, single space on blue paper. <laughs> with a bouquet of roses. I dropped them off. And I, when she got home, I, I, we, went, we went to Fort Valley State University. She was thinking about going to get her master. And she said, are oh, you gonna pick me up tomorrow? I said, I don't know, we'll see. So I waited in anticipation about a couple blocks away, waiting on how she would feel about the letter and flowers that I had prepared for her. And when she got there, she read the letter, she took the flowers, and she told me, she said, if you who God has for me, I gladly accept. Aww. And so I, we went from friends for that seven years. We started, we started dating. We dated for a year. After, after a year of dating her, on June the 9th, 2007, upon the, at Tatton Square Park, up under the big oak tree, I had a planned picnic for her with flowers, her favorite, all of her favorite things in it. She had never had a pair of Air Jordan tennis shoes. She really wanted some Air Jordan. So I got her to stand up. I told her I was going to put the shoes on her feet. And so when she stood up and she thought I was going to pull the, the, the Air Jordans out of the box, I pulled the ring out. I asked her to marry her. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we got engaged. And so we went on, we got married. On February 16 of 2008, we got married. We got married. We were just like the typical couple. I still remember some of the arguments. We were staying in East making an apartment complex called Cherry Tree Hills. And at the time, my wife would buy really cheap garbage bags. And so I was the one who was designated to take the garbage out. And I was taking the garbage out. One day, and halfway to the garbage can, the bottom came out of the trash bag. And so I started kicking trash everywhere and using words that we probably shouldn't use. And so I get back to the house. I'm frustrated, a newlywed, and I say to her, Crystal, what kind of garbage bags you bought? She said, why don't you just take them and double them up? And I said something, listen, fella, listen to me real close, fella. Listen to me real close. I said, that is the stupidest thing I ever heard, Crystal. Listen, you don't ever use the word stupid with a woman when you're having a conversation. I know that's right. Right. So I learned real quick. And we went on in our relationship. We had, a, we, we had a great marriage. We had a great marriage. We would argue about the simple things, and there would be things that we would argue about. Well, one, my wife was a teacher. But one year into our marriage, my wife, one day, she couldn't get up out of bed. She couldn't get up out of bed. We were trying to figure out what was going on. And so we went around to doctors all over the state, and she was diagnosed with a rare muscle disease called polyomyositis. That diagnosis, one year after we got married, changed the very trajectory of our marriage. Mm -hmm. For the next 11 years, we would battle her disease, but even in her battling her rare muscle disease, we found joy in it. And don't worry, my story ain't well, because I don't stand in my story, I stand on my story. Mm -hmm. So the next 11 years, we were battle her story. But my wife did something one time that I want to tell you guys about. And I want y'all to tell you about I want to keep this secret between me, you, Facebook, and TikTok, OK? <laughs> so one day, my wife did something really, really strange. And it really just messed me up. And I couldn't figure out why would she do something like that. Uh, one day, you know, and it's hard to tell this story, but I'm, I'm going to share this with y'all. Y'all going to keep this between us, right? Yeah. Don't, don't tell nobody else, OK? So my wife, one day she did something strange that was out of her pattern, and I was just trying to figure, why would you do something like this? You don't usually do this. I'm trying to add things up. And so what she did was my wife 
But I want to show y'all what she did. My wife, she did something very strange and it was stalling to me. My wife went in the store and she came out and brought me back my change. <laughs> my wife gave me back my change. I don't know how many married men are. Y'all know how rare that is for your wife to give you back your change. <laughs> but over the next 11 years, we were battling her disease. But even as we were battling her disease, we went all over the country. We would go places like John Hopkins. We went to John Hopkins. Uh, trying to trying to find a cure for this rare muscle disease. By the way, February the 29th is rare muscle rare rare disease day on February the 29th. But we went all across the country. But whenever we would go places, we would always take the doctor visit and turn it into a romantic trip as well. And so when we would go places, we would have a good time. But my favorite trip out of all the trips that we went to, we were able to go to Memphis. And while we were in Memphis, we had an opportunity. Uh, it took us about 30 to 40 minutes to actually get her up into a horse and buggy carriage. She always wanted to ride in a horse and buggy carriage. We got a chance to ride through Bill Street. I mean, we had those four days and we ate barbecue. We went to rendezvous. We went to every famous barbecue joint it was. So what am I saying to you? Even in the midst of where you were at, life will happen to you. Things will happen, but you have to learn how to make the most of it. Things are going to happen. Adversity will find you. And so it was tough for us, but we made the most of it by learning how to laugh, by learning how to enjoy life. My life changed on January the 23rd of 2020. I got the news that changed my life right here in the Neverson in the making. The doctor said four words that changed my world. She didn't make it. I didn't know how I was going to keep going. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know what I, I missed her because she was my wife. She was important to me. And I missed things about her, like her pushing me and telling me that I can make it, that I'll be able to go. I missed things like her, her giving me back my change. I missed things like her ordering Amazon packages. I missed things like her telling me she didn't want anything to eat and get halfway down the road and start eating. My, well, I don't really miss that part. But I loved her. And so it's a making love story. And I love my wife, Crystal Butler. Life happens to all of us, but it's what you make of it.